first of all very good afternoon ma'am i'm really glad and appreciate like you have taken your time for the interview process with colleges dunia uh ma'am you can start with your uh, your introduction your okay. expertise okay. and then we'll start with the interview process yes. i am dr vijay chamdeshwari principal for sarita engineering college uh, i have uh, done my mtech from iit madras and a phd from uh, iit roorkee and uh, i have about uh, 25 years of uh, teaching experience and played the iit of roorkee in improving the research and the academic curricula and uh, helping the students uh, Strengths and motivation. Oh, that's really great, ma'am. So, ma'am, uh, as per you, what are the best practices offered by the department to the students, which help them gain necessary skills? Yeah. See, uh, specifically for uh, Savita Engineering College, uh, we uh, believe in uh, the certificate uh, is just a paper, and if it is not imparting any skills, it doesn't have any meaning. so uh, instead of uh, getting the degree to the students we emphasize more on imparting skills so here the skills uh, what we actually have to educate in the students is that we have to identify what is exactly required by the industry and map the skills with the students that is what is the biggest challenge with all the academic institutions and continuously the expectations from the industry is also changing and technologically also we are improving a lot as you all know the technological improvement is exponentially increasing and at that speed the academic institute also has to cope up with it so that is the biggest challenge so how we are trying to impart the skills is that uh basically we have brought in lot of changes in the way in which the subjects or the courses are offered to the students instead of simply handling the class or the lecture class and then assessing them through a written exam and all we exactly assess them whether they have learned the course or not say for example a programming course Uh, we don't have any theory exam which is meaningless for uh, programming so what we have is a module kind of exams and it is continuous assessments like for every topic as, as you all know the module kind of teaching is becoming popular and it is because of the very less uh, interactive uh, uh, session which can be handled by the student the modules are made very uh, smaller and simpler so that he learn that topic and he gets assessed so if he is uh, good at the uh, that particular concept of programming he has learnt it and he moves to the next step this is how the continuous assessment for programming papers are all given and the next big advantage is the flexi learn which is provided by our college Mm, that is a major uh, i'll say usp for our institute uh, so by flexi learn the learner can select any subject and he can also choose the timing he likes and as well the faculty who is going to teach so this these are all the major advantages and the responsibility with the flexi learn even though the flexibility is there for the students along with it there comes the responsibility so student is deciding which subject is going to take that particular semester then the major responsibility of how he is successfully completing also lies with him because he has taken the decision of those subjects so he will be working hard to complete it so these are the major uh, changes i will say these are all revolutionary changes something which is uh, hesitantly taken up by very few of the other educational institutions but we have daringly taken few of the steps so that uh, this is flexible easier to the students and as well like we want the student to be skilled this is the idea well comfortably he has to complete and as well he has to be placed in a good institution or he becomes an entrepreneur as per his aspirations that's really yeah. great ma'am 
So ma'am, what valuable advice would you like to give to the students to have a prosperous career ahead? Since you are into the education industry for a long period of time and handling uh, the position of principal as well. So, see, actually, uh, when the student is uh, studying, the period of four years of his learning is very crucial for his uh, developmental career in the future. So he has to take that four years as a learning period, which is a very important phase. And uh, as per this uh, current uh, needs by the industry and all, he has to understand before he goes to the industry. He has to understand the industry needs, how he will get to know what is the environment within the industry. For these purposes only, we have the internships, industrial training kind of things. So every semester, he has to make sure that he is attending different kind of industry, uh, like in the way of internship or in plant training. He is spending fifteen days or one month time in the company and work on the industry use cases. Like from here also, we have collaboration with many industries and we are bringing the real time cases, real time use cases for the students. so such cases he has to work out so that is the major thing like in addition to the courses what he is learning he also has to participate in the internships and also that he gets used and what is expected out of the industry as well another thing is that lot of global competitions national wide competitions as well global wide competitions are happening and uh, we also see that many of the product companies are uh, picking the students through these kind of competitions so like sometimes the student may not believe what is his capability or he is unaware of what is his capability so until unless he goes to the national arena or the global arena for the competitions he will not realize where he stands whether it is good or bad he will not know what is the position so that is uh, what is required so that he understands the position and how what are all the things the peers are capable of so when he goes and attends some competitions like or the hackathons then he understands where he stands and also how others are all working they are all inspirations so whenever he is going outside from the college and outside participations are a must so he has to go there and uh, get to know about the things what is happening around and another thing is continuous learning whatever be the subject or the uh, branch of science you are choosing engineering you are choosing you have to be continuously learning and up to date with the current technology that is definitely required so how you are uh, polishing is is uh, the continuous learning is what matters Fine. Ma'am, a last question. Ma'am, you hold a key position at Education Institute, right? Uh, throughout your professional career. So, what are the key factors that make you connected with the education sector? Yeah. Okay. See, actually, um, I feel that everybody has to pursue any profession with interest and the passion. So, until unless the particular person has the passion towards. the profession he has selected he cannot find happiness so i think that is what is leading us to the education and uh, every faculty uh, faculty's major role is uh, how we are teaching the children and when we are communicating to a group of students and coming out of this uh, session mm. or whatever technical session or something you feel happiness so that is what we are uh, leading it uh, into the education sector for a long time and another thing is that we as uh, as a learner or as a student we have passed through the phases and we all know what are all the things which we didn't like in the education so when we understand uh, what are all the things to be changed so that is what we are trying to impart in the current education system so we are all uh, trying to improve the education system and whatever we felt uh, was not good for the student community and which we have experienced we, we don't want to give such experience to the current students and that is what is continuously striving 
making us to strive to a better education system ma'am that's really great ma'am first of all thank you so much for your valuable time okay. for the interview process with college dunia ma'am thank yes. you thank you